Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction. The fighter standing in the red corner. He weighed in at 69.9. He's at 23, stands at 5'11". He fights out of British combat and hails from a Wigan, James Wynn Stanley! And his opponent, fighting in the blue corner, weighing in at 69.5. He's at 21, stands at 5'11". He fights out of Mr. M's of Fight Factory and hails from Manchester, Philip your referee, Mr. Neil Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Full Contact Contender 3. I'm Brad 48 Wharton here with Iron Jez Cook, and we're about to get the first bout of the evening underway. Amateur C-Class rules, that's no headshots, no elbows, no twisting locks. Jez, it's going to be a good one. Brad, it's good to be back. You know what? It's great to be back. Back up north, FCC has never disappointed us so far, and we've got another magnificent night ahead of us tonight, and our first bout tasting up. Evans started off with a nice low kick there in the knee to the body. The action straight away right in front of us here, right against the cage. Evans does well to turn his man there, they're still grappling on the cage. And that's an attempted takedown, but James Wynn Stanley has ended up on the bottom. Yeah. He's man in guard. Yeah, so unfortunately he goes for the takedown, but doesn't quite get enough momentum in there and ends up on his back in guard. And there's no ground and pound to the head here under these C-Class rules, so what can Philip Evans do from this position, Jez? Well, really what's important for him is trying to pass guard, which he's trying to do now, pop that leg open, really move into side control. From that position then, he can really look at a submission position. But there's a triangle thrown up there by James Wynn Stanley. This is tight. Tries to slam him, doesn't quite get it, and there's a great reversal there by James Wynn Stanley. That's really good work by Wynn Stanley. Put him under pressure with the triangle. Made Evans move, and from there, put a great slam on, and, you know, he's taking control of this fight now. So an attempted on platter there, but reversed, and now, when Stanley's in the side control position. Yeah, good side control, got his hips really nice and low there, putting some pressure down there. He's going to isolate the arm, stepping over Cotterson does well there. Looking for the salivary there, doesn't quite get it. It's going to end up in guard again. Both fighters full of a lot of energy at the moment, a lot of nervous energy they're putting to good use. These guys fought before at full contact contender two and fought to a draw and you can see why again we've had a very evenly matched contest here Jez. Yeah both are very confident on the ground um, you know it's, it's gone from one another to another um, and uh, yeah it was hardly anything between them last time uh, and, and once again not much there's, there's not a lot of space to be worked from both fighters looking to counter and attack no it's just it's, it's shaping up nicely as we speak. But and Stanley lucky for Mount there and he gets it, full mount position. Yeah, it was nice, he was patient there, comes straight into Mount and now he's got, now he's got control. That's what he wants, he's got plenty of time but he needs to just secure this and then dominate. He needs to pull his man away from the fence so he can't use the fence to buck. He's getting a very high mount there, perhaps looking for an armbar. Yeah, he's looking to twist, wasn't he there, but uh, Evan saw that coming and just uh, responded right. But Stanley needs to be patient here, there's a lot of submissions available from this position. He just has to be patient and pick the right one, trying to isolate that arm now. But that's what's happened there. He's got too, got too anxious, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't really defining what he was going to do. And Evans just popped that knee through, takes him to half guard, and that was important. He needed that because that was a dangerous position in Mount. But Evans with a fantastic transition there, and he takes Mount. Turnabout is fair play, folks. Philip Evans being warned to, for shots to the head there, obviously not permitted under C-Class rules. Giving us a smile at the commentary position is Philip Evans. He's loving this. He, he is it. loving it. Oh, he's enjoying himself, isn't he? Gives us a little wink and a smile. <laughs> Fantastic. That's what we like to see. The guys coming out here and having a good time. You know, they mean business, but, you know, if you don't love the sport, then why be in it? Well, it was a strong finish there from Philip Evans, but for me, that first round goes to James Wynn Stanley. Yeah, agreed. Um, you know, earlier on, he tried to take the sweep, didn't... didn't wasn't really able to see it through, but was mindful through that triangle, got the transition, got the sweep, took mount, and, uh, you know, he, he, he looked dangerous, just a little bit more patience, and, uh, you know, he could have found something. Well, these guys look to be in decent shape after the first round as well, so I'm expecting some more fast and furious action as we head into round two. Yeah, and it's nice to see both guys, obviously, the ground game is key here, both guys confident on the ground, 
Um, it will just see, uh, you know, who's got the more alertness, who can respond to the atmosphere, who can control the nerves as well. That's massive as well, because this is a big audience here. And it's uh, a big stage here at Full Contact Contender 3 here at the Reebok Stadium in Bolton. A fantastic venue that Adam Tate's put on for us. These guys have got a lot to live up to, and I'm sure they're going to do it as we move on the rest of this fight. Touch of the gloves there between Evans and Win Stanley. That's what it's all about, a bit of respect, isn't it, Brad? Nice take down there from Win Stanley. Can he get a dominant position from it, though? Evans just got that leg in there, gives him a bit of room, but it's passed nicely by Win Stanley. Side control here by James Win Stanley. He's going to be patient now, he's going to set something up. Perhaps look to isolate that arm, get the salivary position, that's what he's doing. He isolates the arm perfectly, but it's pulled out by Philip Evans. Yeah, he's going for that. Evans saw that. Second time he's tried to do that, made a commitment, but not being, not being alert enough, not being quick enough to get it through there, and he, he's compromised the position. It's, it's a shame he's there. He's given up his neck there in the north-south position. He could possibly give his back, but he rolls back into guard. And pop this leg through. Oh, nice guard there. He saw that. Just pop that leg through. That's a good position from him now there. Good defensive transitioning there by Philip Evans. Yeah, nice hips. Saw a little bit of space. Pop to the pop to the left and squeeze that through. The triangle is coming up here. The other leg is trapped. I don't think he's going to be able to get it from this position, but he's got an arm. And the arm's out. Yeah, trapped in a difficult position. He's sort of north-south, but it's so isolated there. It's you know they're right up against the cage. It's difficult to get enough, enough Rever space. reverse mount here by James Win Stanley. Not a whole lot of positions here. There's a couple of knee bars available from this position. But I don't think he's going to get them. No, he and needs to trans transition over, but that leg stuck. No, it's difficult. You also saw that arm pop up. Now normally, if that was more central, he could take the arm and look for an arm bar, look to maneuver around. But you know, space was difficult, limited. But he does manage to achieve mount there, James Win Stanley. Having a word with the ref here. Back in the action. I believe one of the fighters' feet was actually stuck under the cage at that point. That's why the action was stopped. But we're back underway now. We're Stanley booked out of mount. Yeah, it's nice. He's got lively hips. He, he, he's got good spatial awareness. Obviously, he's got some good uh, good ground game. Confident to be on his back. He doesn't look that that worried. He doesn't look anxious at all. He's just happy to wait for an opportunity. Again, he goes for the arm, and again, he ends up inside mount. Both fighters showing respect. It's difficult, this uh, amateur see, you know, but all fighters are trained, you know, just a sort of instinct, a response, just to sort of put down some leather. But, um, you, know. As a, you know, as a fighter, it's a natural instinct to punch somebody in the head. And, and when that's taken away from you, it, it's tough. But we see when Stanley now perhaps going for a knee bar. He turns round. He's looking for that knee bar now. He can't use the heel hook, he can go for the knee bar, but he's not got it. And he ends up under side control. Yeah, some nice hammer fist by Evans there. Just Evans really straight into mount. Pounding that body, but oh, he's reversed as well. Nice and there's well, a go-go yeah. blaster into an armbar. Is he going to get it or is he going to be saved by the bell? He can't turn the thumb. And he's saved by the bell, oh. it's Philip Evans. We've heard that so many times before, but, you know, time. Time is critical here. Just ran out of it so unlucky there because he looked like he had a good submission. But you That know, was an incredibly, incredibly even round there. I'm not sure who I'd give that round to, in fact. I'll probably score that one a draw. Could we be in for another draw here between Philip Evans and James Winstanley? Yeah, you know, no, no real difference between the fighters. I mean, it's, a, it's an easy call to get these guys fighting again because, you know, we saw first time in FCC2, both fighters, very close, very close fight. Same again, it's a repeat again. There's not really much to separate them at this point in time. At this point in the fight, I've got James Winstanley ahead, 19 to 18. This third and final round is going to be the decider. Yeah. It really is important. Evans got to come out and he's got to be convincing, I think, here. Otherwise, we could, we could be in for another draw, you know. But three minutes, it's tiring. We've had two already. Both have been very active. You know, cardio is going to come into it now a lot. And at this point in the fight, for me, James Win Stanley looks the fresher man. Philip Evans has got that mouth open quite a lot. Nice low kick there from Win Stanley. Evans answers with a knee to the body and jumps guard. He didn't get it though. Uh, Win Stanley just shrugs him off, pushed it down. He's like, no, I'm not ready for this. Let's stand up a little. Let's bang a little bit more. Let's throw those kicks. Single leg attempt there by Evans. Doesn't quite get it. Very nice sprawl there from James Win Stanley. Yeah, sure. Stanley's going to be looked to transition in. He does. He gets to side control. 
Is he going to be content to ride out this position or is he going to risk it for a submission? Let's see what he's doing. He's tried to pop that arm through to Isaiah to get himself more control. It's not worked last two times, so let's see what he does again. But uh, you know, he might look to try and isolate the other arm to try and get a Kimura, but it's difficult because Evans is lively. He's not willing to give up at all, is he? Well, these men remember that they drawed last time. They've both got a point to prove here. Evans throwing those legs up with reckless abandon. When Stanley's able to control him, though, he's got that arm isolated now, looking for that salivary position, but his own head's caught in a half guillotine. I don't think he'll worry too much about that, but he needs to just move his body around again. Just forget about the arm, get himself back in a neutral He's trying to crank the arm here, I believe. We can't exactly see from our commentary position. He's looking to isolate that other arm. But he lo he's, lost, uh, he's lost the position again. He's gone from side control, back in the half guard. And he just being a bit too eager to really find a submission. Like I say, he, he lost position there, got his neck in a bad position. And it's Evans now looking for a guillotine choke from half guard. Incredibly, incredibly difficult move to get. You don't have the leverage there, really. No, but what he can do, he can put a bit of pressure and tire his opponent out to try and last, you know, see him through later on in the round. That's going to have an impact on him. His muscles are going to get starved of oxygen. They're going to get tired to make it difficult for him. He's got the arm and guillotine here, does, does Philip Evans. I don't think he's going to be able to finish it from this position. His man passes to Mount. And, and once again, when Stanley takes Mount. Evans trying to buck and roll, but difficult with the cage right beside him. He's trying to crack that submission, but he just doesn't have the right amount of leverage. No, he's not taking in Taking shots position. to the body here. When Stanley passes to Mount, the clock is ticking on this fight. James Win Stanley is looking for a a dominant position to perhaps execute an armbar from. Yeah, but you know what, actually, in this round, he's got a hell of a lot of uh, control on his side, and you know, that could count. He's grabbing the wrist the there, setting up the armbar. He's looking to twist, but a nice back and roll. Brilliant back and roll by Philip Evans, but has he got into a triangle? He's got that triangle locked in. Oh, it could be in here. This could be all over. When Stanley needs to try and shift his position to tighten this up. 10 seconds. For James to hang on. He's not going to get it, I don't think. Oh, he's got it! Oh, right at the death! Right. Unbelievable! Right in the dying seconds. We thought he had a deep. We thought that Evans might be able to last until the last dying seconds, but no, it was tight. And you know what? When that cranks and you're starving, you have no real choice. And what a fantastic fight between these two men. James Win Stanley settles the score there. These guys were inseparable in the first fight, they fought to a draw. They were inseparable in the second fight. It went to the absolute death. Incredible last-minute submission there by James Win Stanley. Yeah, hats off to both fighters. Put on an impressive display. What a way to open FCC3 here in Bolton. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 59 seconds of the third round, by way of a triangle, your winner in the red corner, James Winstanley! Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for Philip Evans!